On page 13 we have just one new kanji but with it we can make three new subjects. Before we look at the new kanji we're going to just remind ourselves of this kanji over here and it means reason. You've got on the left hand side, can you see here, you've got the king and on the right hand side this element here, that means village and if you recall a king brings reason to the village and that's quite handily pronounced the which is the same sound that our word reason begins with. But the actual new character is a little further down the page. Here's our new character over here, and it's the kanji which means just thing, things, or stuff. Now when we combine it with the li for reason, we get butsu li. And there it is, butsuri, pronounced butsuri, and that means physics. In other words, the reason for things. Now this is what the character used to look like. On the left hand side, in the old characters, it's a little hard to identify the left hand side and sometimes it's swapped around. But have a look here and it's quite clear. This uh, element here on the left hand side, can you see the key feature is those two great big horns and 2000 years ago the standardized version then also had those two great big horns. That left hand side actually means cow. If we have a look at the standardized modern form, you can see that left hand there has changed slightly. There's only one horn left, but you can still recognize that those two are the same. So you've got a cow on the left, which represents, well, just things. Now it's hard to actually go back into the minds of the ancient Chinese, but clearly cows, well, that was just represented things. Now on the right hand side, this is actually uh, colorful streamers. And I think that's very clear. Look, here again, colorful streamers. Let's have a look down here and we can see there's some colorful streamers and some streamers over there. Now again, colorful streamers, that indicates various different kinds of things. So lots of different kinds of things, lots of colors and cows, put them together and that is your word for thing. It's not an intangible thing, so it's not an idea or it's not a system. It's a tangible thing. It's something that you can actually touch, like a table or a chair. Let's look at the kakitun. This is what's left of that horn on the left hand element, which means cow. So there's one horn. Then we're going to go across and the other horn has disappeared. Never mind. And then you go down and then the cross stroke, which is normally horizontal when it's a character in its own right. That gets put on an angle so that we can squash it up and fit it into the left hand part of this kanji. Then on the right hand you've got the colorful streamers. One streamer, two streamer, three, four. And together that makes thing or things. Now if we go down, we go past thing, we've just done that, and we get to this character here which has a core meaning of alive or living. And you'll recall that this is the character that you find in Sensei. It's the Sei from Sensei, teacher. It's the Sei from Seito, student. Just remind ourselves of the Kakijun. So down on the left, Ich, Ni, Sam, Shi, Go. Now when we add it to the character for thing, so we get alive thing or living thing, that becomes Sei. Butsu, Sei Butsu, and of course, well, the study of living things, that's biology.